Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my final movie review this evening is The Perfect Man. This was released on June 17th, 2005. It is a romantic comedy that has a 5.5 out of 10 on IMDb, a low 6% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 90% on Google. Uh, despite the 6% on Rotten Tomatoes, on a $10 million budget, it made $19.7 million at the box office. It was directed by Mark Roseman and written by Gina Wincos. And it stars Hilary Duff, uh, Heather Locklear, Chris Knopf, Michael Malley, and Ben Feldman. Uh, this movie was nominated for a Teen Choice Award for just for Hilary Duff. Um, this movie, quick synopsis of this movie is... is you have a family of three, a single mother, um, Jean, played by Locklear. You have Holly, played by Hilary Duff, um, who are constantly on the move. Because of her mom's uh, relationships, or lack thereof, with men. Uh, every time she gets her heart broken, she doesn't want to stay. She wants enough to move the kids uh, to somewhere new. And... Um, you have Holly, who is sick and tired of moving um, to different places. Uh, it seems every time she makes friends and gets ready to go to a dance or social event, they have to up and move because her mom is broken again. So Holly decides to take her, uh, to her mom's love life into her own hands and decides to become and writes her... Um, pretending to be some guy uh, that she ends up falling for. Along the way, um, you have Jean, uh, who has a co-worker, Lenny, played by Michael Malley, who asks her out and eventually asks her to, uh, she's still um, having the conversations with this guy, um, Ben, played by Chris Noth. Chris Noth, you know him more famously for his role on Sex and the City as the love interest for Carrie Bradshaw. Um, how do I know that? I love Sex and the City, but that's a story for another time. This movie I thought was really sweet. It did feel like a Hallmark original movie, um, but it's a lot of fun. It's really sweet, and um, I loved how the movie ended. It, it was really cool. I love the characters. Um, cinematography is beautiful, of course. Um, not quite the, the biggest fan of Hilary Duff. Um, Heather Locklear, I, she's she's sweet as too. I, I, I like her. Um, but this movie did have some, some flaws. Um, I think the movie was a little bit long. There could have been some scenes that could have been cut from the movie. Um, I did enjoy, though, uh, the uh, story about the family and then her wanting her mom to find the right guy. And she does whatever she can to find the right guy for her mom. Along the way, she ends up uh, falling for um, a classmate of hers. And it's, it's just a sweet movie. Uh, and... Despite it being, I think, a little too long, and yes, it is kind of cheesy, as some of these movies are, I, I enjoyed it. And so, I will give The Perfect Man an 8 out of 10, and yeah, it's an enjoyable movie. Uh, it'll be a one-time watch. This is not one that I could see myself watching over and over. Uh, not many most uh, romantic comedies you could, uh, but yeah. For what it is, it was fun. In the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And um, what did you think of the performances? Uh, let me know that as well. And what are some of your favorite romantic comedies that have a low score on Rotten Tomatoes? Let's say a 25% and below. Uh, let me know that in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, Subscribe today for more content. If you have any questions for me regarding myself, um, let me know in the comment section below as well. 
ask whatever you want. Just be respectful when you ask the questions. And remember, if I get to 100 subscribers, I will do a live Q&A, or at least I will attempt to do a live Q&A. And you guys can ask me all the questions you want. Uh, you can still ask me all the questions you want right now. Like I said, just be respectful. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. I thank you for supporting my channel. Don't forget to share these videos on your social media as you see fit to. Other than that, I thank you for watching and check you later.